from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week on Americana Outdoors, we're joining Wade on a whitetail hunt where he's testing out the brand new Garmin Zero X1i crossbow scope. And later, we're covering the Trinity Oaks Purple Heart Heroes Celebration Hunt, sponsored by Salisbury. Now, before we join Wade in a pop-up blind for his hunt, let's take some time to see one way he likes to set up a hunting area. Preparation, I think, is a big key in, in, in everything. And in the situation we're getting ready for now, I know I'm gonna come, or I hope to come back up here in a couple of weeks and hunt this, this very area. We've got a, a big mesquite flat, you know, your typical look right across here. If you, if you cactus spread out in there, there's a random oak tree up and down through here. And it's, it's just a great area where there's, there's a lot of deer anyway that both bed and feed up through here. So we're gonna kind of spice it up a little bit, uh, both from an idea of seeing what we can see and then hopefully holding some deer in this area. Uh, we've got the record rack deer block right here and it's got the wild berry flavor. I mean, you can smell it, you know, from a mile away. Deer love it, they absolutely annihilate it. And uh, we're gonna put a couple of these out kind of on this flat. It's an area where we know a lot of deer already travel by. And then we're gonna put a stealth cam in the same area to get some photos so we can you know kind of catalog what's here see what's see what's coming in so that's part of our plan to get set up for a future hunt you know it's that preparation we feel getting a, getting an area kind of spiced up that will hopefully pay off for a, either filling the freezer or a great trophy later on I'll throw out some mineral as well this is an easy one to add to the area basically pour it right out on the ground and the deer just come up and devour that as well. So we'll have it spiced up in here one, one way or the other, that's for sure. Have us a little highway right through here. Hopefully it'll result in seeing some pictures of some deer that we're excited to come knock down here in a couple weeks. Another key thing is to look at a stand from the angle that a deer will be looking at it from. When it comes to hunting pop-ups, you know, we've got one set up right here. It's, it's always good to get out and kind of look to see what the deer are seeing. And, and uh, you know, we actually push these windows down to kind of get some different angles and stuff. But as you can see with this, the rising sun right now, it really kind of lights those windows up. Um, and you always got to pay attention to that. And sometimes you have to hunt a stand a couple times to know it. Sometimes you got to get out here and look at it from different angles to try to see what the deer see. And right now, if we were in there moving around with that light, you can see it right there. If we're kind of up on the edge and this deer just happens to look at the wrong time, he's going to pick us off. So, you know, maybe it's more brush or understanding that this is not the best stand to hunt on a on a sunny clear day at, at X time, you know, so always keep those things in mind. Pay attention to the littlest things because, you know, when I see comments on, you know, Facebook or social media, man, I've never seen a deer. I always wonder, are they paying attention to the littlest things? Because, you know, that's a, that's something that I knew the sun was kind of bad in this spot. And especially when the leaves fall off all these mesquites and it, you know, if we were really in here trying to kill one, I'd pull those windows up, pull that brush down, or, or think about not hunting here on a clear bluebird day. Those the little things can, can so get us in a bind. And then other times, they don't seem to matter. The deer do what they're gonna do. So when I'm setting up a camera in this type of a situation, I, I really like to, to let it take a burst of three photos at a time and I'll put a big memory card in there. I'm gonna put a 16 gig card in here. And, and you know, sometimes the photos that are behind the location are your best photos. You know, paying attention when you get a good daylight picture to what's in the background, a lot of times will clue you into a big one. When we come back, it's time to head to the stand on opening weekend, where Wade will be back in that pop-up blind field testing the new Garmin Zero X1i crossbow scope paired with the 10-point Vapor RS-470. Before the road trips, 
cool mornings, the hot cast iron, the short nights, and the long cast. There's one stop that you can't afford to miss. It's time to gear up and camp out at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Save on all your camping essentials, in-store and online. Your adventure starts here. Trade hours for seconds. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Garmin Zero, leave the guesswork behind. 10 point crossbows, perfection lives here. Well, that's one pretty big full moon sitting right up there above my head. That's about as bright and as full as it's going to get. But it's opening day here in Texas. And, you know, opening day, there's a lot of different in opening days, you know, based on what type of means and methods you're hunting with, whether it's a rifle, your bow, whatever it may be, shotguns, muzzle loaders for different, uh, different parts of all, all across the nation. But here in Texas, October, uh, the first Saturday generally is our opening day. Uh, uh, bow season. So we're going to be going out today and, and we're going to be using a crossbow. Uh, we've got a 10 point vapor here, but it's got something really special on top of it. It's got the new Garmin Zero crossbow sight. And this is cutting edge technology that even surpasses what you see as the Garmin Zero bow sight. So we're going to unveil that. This will be one of the first hunts that's ever been done with the Garmin Zero. So hopefully we'll see some action. opening day in Texas, filled the freezer. I mean, we're going to eat good back straps and, and uh, hamburgers and everything. And what a great hunt. Uh, I, you know, I just, I get so excited about opening day all the time. Anytime we get to go, it doesn't matter what state, what, what we're hunting with. And, and there's just that anticipation and excitement. And sometimes the opening morning hunts work good. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes it's an adventure. And, and uh, I, I've just, and on opening day for me, it's about always filling the freezer, having a good experience, a good hunt, and uh, that's a pretty good way to start it right there. And 
with this site here, you know, I can see it target locked. It acquires everything. There's no guessing the circles, the lines, anything that's going on. And, uh, you know, he was kind of behind for, for me, not from the camera angle. There's one mesquite there. We actually trimmed a few pieces off of it. He was kind of on the left side of it, but I could see the vitals perfect. I mean, I watched that boat go right through. It's going to be a total pass through. I mean, that, that deer, he's got to be dead right over there, 100. 150 yards if not if not less i mean that, that just that bolt out of this vapor just straight through him that's pretty awesome right there double lung right there that's what you're looking for good morning while wade hangs back in the blind for 30 minutes we'll take a moment to hear some short messages from our sponsors and when we come back we're getting right to the action as wade starts tracking a shot he already knows was a perfect one Inside every Yamaha lives the heart and soul of a competitor. The DNA of a champion. When you ride with us, it revs your heart and becomes a part of you too. To me, the Performance Center by Smith & Wesson means taking the best and making it better. Regardless if I'm passing on the traditions of hunting or teaching someone new about the outdoors, I know that using a Performance Center handgun will be something they will remember for the rest of their lives. Every model comes with an awesome trigger. They're reliable in all the conditions as well as offering a variety of sight and scope mounting capabilities. The Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. The Thompson Center Compass 2 a feature-rich rifle packed with value and a higher standard of reliable accuracy. Now with Generation 2 trigger and threaded muzzle, offered in scoped and non-scoped versions and in a wide variety of calibers, from the range to the fields to the mountains, TC has a rifle to match every hunter's needs. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Stealth Cam Digital Scouting Cameras, proven. Conquest Sense, hunting sense and dog training sense. Angle, the original high-performance cooler. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Wade is out of the stand and on the trail he saw the buck run off on. See if we can find us a few drops. I don't think he's gonna bleed till we get up here a little bit. I watched him run right through here. <laughs> now we can start getting loud, folks. There he is right there. I, I didn't think that deer probably would go more than 100 yards. It looks like he went maybe, maybe 60 yards from where we hit him. I mean, this thing, this is this is a catch me out right here. If you're going to go this combination right here with the vapor, the speed, the power, of kinetic energy, and now this new Garmin Zero that will dial it in for you. Let's get up here and get our hands on him. Fill the freezer. Stories to tell around deer camp. I think we. Knock the first one down before anybody else look at that buck right there. I mean, devastation. You can see the devastation from here on that. You know, when I look at finally recapping a hunt like this, this was a, just a perfect deer that we, I was excited about. I mean, I just think he's going to make the coolest European mount with the bleach that skull and those old chocolate antlers and all that little character right there to add to, add to my collection and storytelling. But obviously for me, a lot of opening weekends are, are field testing, taking new product out. First time I've ever used that Garmin Zero crossbow sight. And technology is just phenomenal to help you as a hunter make you know, the best shots that you can, no matter what model of crossbow speed-wise that you're putting it on. I just had to be shooting that Vapor because I know that's the most powerful, fastest one that, <laughs> that I, I can get my hands on. And the end result is you know, uh, what you want to see, a 50-yard you know, run from the moment of an impact. And, and now we're gonna go get that R-Max and load him up and, and head to the camp and 
We're gonna eat some pancakes and eggs and little smokies and call it a great morning. Congratulations, Wade. This great buck is a perfect representation of a classic Texas Hill Country Whitetail. Now, while Wade packs up and heads back to camp for the day, let's hear his review on this fantastic new crossbow scope from Garmin. You know, right now we're out here, we're doing some field testing and hunting with the Garmin Zero crossbow setup. Uh, this setup right here from the Zero on the crossbow side, it's, it's just, I mean, amazing what you can do with it. That's why I put my phone back here so I could record through it and actually show you so you could see what we see to the best of our ability here with our little, little rig. But as you go deeper into this Zero, I mean, you've got your first things you're going to do is you're look at your mechanicals. Uh, setups. I mean, it's much like your traditional rifle scope with ups, downs, left, rights. You're going to mount it on there. It's a rock solid mount. I mean, this thing's, you know, it's built from a tactical standpoint, if you ask for my opinion off of it. Then when you go inside this, the coolest thing about it is you're basically tailoring this to your exact crossbow, the speed of your crossbow. Um, and they set up for your bolts, your arrows, and everything, what you've got. So when you know that, you can compute all that in, you go through the setup stages, and while you're sitting out here ranging, it's dropping pins exactly for, for what you're shooting at that time, and it, it takes out all the guesswork. It eliminates all the, you know, when you're looking at a lot of traditional crossbow scopes, and, and they're still, you know, those are deadly accurate. They're gonna work perfectly fine, but you've got a lot of clutter on there all the time with this. Boom, once you, you get locked onto your target and you're confident in your range, you've got one aiming point, so it's gonna help with precision shooting all the way around. You know, this piece of equipment, the crossbow in this, in the, in the Garmin Zero Sight, it can't control your emotions. It can't overcome butt fever, but if you can control your emotions and you do everything right, you've, you've basically got setups with this type of technology that allows you to make a clean ethical kill every time you pull the trigger. Uh, if you don't hit a stick or you don't make a mistake, uh, your precision shooting, if you spent the time setting this up the right way, it, it goes to an all new level. There, there's simply nothing like it out there that I have seen that allows you to freehand, shoot with a, a shoot off sticks, whatever the shot requires within that, within the range and the capabilities of your skills and the, and the crossbows you're shooting. I mean, that zero takes it to an all new level for you. And, uh, you know, we've, we've tried to bring a lot of this content to you so you can see it, so you can, you know, really dive into it and digest all the data on there. Some of you are going to want all the data, some of you are not going to want as much data on there, but it, it is simply amazing technology. Visit online for more information on the game-changing Garmin Zero X1i. Coming up, we're heading over to Trinity Oaks and bringing you coverage of the Purple Heart Heroes Celebration Hunt. Introducing the first crossbow with a built-in range-finding scope. Ten Point and Garmin deliver the most accurate long-range crossbow ever. Exact aim, any distance, range, aim, and kill at 470 feet per second. The new Vapor RS470. Learn more at 10pointcrossbows.com. I love my Fusion Wireless camera. It is the easiest cell cam I've ever set up. Download the command app. Scan the QR code. Everything is done on your phone. All kinds of affordable and different data plans. For as little as $5 a month, you can have your trail cam pictures sent right to your cell phone. You can go into the app, you can change all the camera settings, you can change all the upload settings, and it's got a feature where you can map out where your cameras are. It shows you when the activity has been in front of your cameras. Check it out, the Fusion Wireless camera from Stealth Cam. It's in our nature to protect, defending our heritage, our way of life, and the ones we love. It's your right. Don't give it up. Protect it or lose it. Walkers. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Record Rack. Serious Nutrition. Outdoor Action TV. Stream your favorite shows. Walkers. Protect it or lose it. 
In November of 2020, Americana Outdoors have the privilege of covering the Trinity Oaks Purple Heart Hero Celebration Hunt, sponsored by Salisbury. This event honored Purple Heart veterans from World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and the Gulf Wars. Trinity Oaks is a Texas-based nonprofit organization founded on the premise that participation in the outdoors is a powerful and fundamentally life-changing experience, and their mission is to make a meaningful difference in the lives of others through the use of hunting, fishing, and outdoor activities. Here at Trinity Oaks, all of the animals on the property are fed with premium product donated by Record Rack. And on a yearly basis, the organization donates over 540,000 pounds of protein-rich meals to the underprivileged in their community. On an annual basis, Trinity Oaks hosts over 100 events for people who will benefit from a hunting or fishing trip. And from these events have had the ability to impact tens of thousands of lives. The organization is comprised of two main properties, one of which is known as Page's Place. This fully handicap accessible home provides grieving, terminally ill, disabled, or adopted children and their families access to the outdoors and gives disabled veterans the opportunity to move beyond their limitations. The other location, known as Thumbtack Ranch, is where our journey brings us today. While staying on this expansive 2,000 acre plot of land, not only will our veterans get to hunt, but they'll also have the chance to partake in some relaxing fishing over a pond, hit up the shooting range, and enjoy a host of other activities. Bringing our servicemen to Trinity Oaks for this hunting experience is the epitome of what it means to get out and enjoy the great outdoors and gives our veterans an opportunity to connect with others who've endured similar circumstances throughout their careers in service to our country. The Trinity Oaks Purple Heart Heroes Celebration Hunt has begun, and we're hitting the field with Purple Heart recipient Robert E. Lee Stewart and Bubba Salisbury with the hopes of harvesting a nice Texas whitetail for Robert to take home. You ready to go, Robert? I've been ready since last night. I was the first guy up 15 minutes before the alarm went off, and I was already dressed when they turned the light on. <laughs> they said, I'm not here to sleep, I'm here to hunt. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. What have you heard about this place? Well, I heard it's awesome uh, what they do for veterans and uh, the fundraisers they do to, to give back to uh, those who have served. I mean, that's where my heart's at. I do the same thing. I try to do things for veterans and the disabled. And, but they do more than just veterans. They're doing, you know, police officers and people, the first line of defense. And so I think it's awesome that uh, veterans get a chance to come out and do this because this is very healing. Just to be around guys with like mine and touching different generations. And, you know, you find out that they're no different than you and they all think alike. And, and that's what's missing. That's what guys want to go back into combat for because you feel like we abandoned our brothers. Well, this way we're back with that, get that feeling back. That's awesome. It ain't about killing something. It's about being around with these guys like this and about being around people with hearts like this that care enough to want to do this for you. There's animals way out there. What are those? Oh, uh, orcs. Orcs, yeah. orcs, yeah. And then, yeah, scimitar. And with the white. They're both orcs. One's a Gimp's bug and the other one's a scimitar. Wow. Well, it isn't like we didn't see any deer. I mean, we got, yeah. I counted eight over there. And yeah. how many bucks did you I have? I think we had about a dozen deer all together. Yeah, and there's about, what, two or three bucks over there, and I had two over here. Several, several young bucks. Yeah, all young, all young. And, deer, yeah. uh, and mostly pretty small, one nice yeah. buck, but still, mm -hmm. still fairly young, so. It's just nice being out here, and, and the weather is perfect for it because yeah. you didn't get the bright sun out there to make them lay down. You got an overcast with a little fog. That was perfect. As they say, the worst day hunting's the best day that you're <laughs> ever yeah. had compared yeah. to work. You know, hunting or fishing. Yeah, that's right. Well, they may not have brought a buck home today, but like Robert and Bubba mentioned, any day hunting is better than not hunting at all. In closing, we'd like to thank Trinity Oaks for hosting this incredible hunt and extend a sincere thank you to the brave men and women who've donned the uniform to protect and serve our country. 
If you know a veteran who'd benefit from participating in one of Trinity Oak's many programs geared towards making a difference in a veteran's life, visit their website at trinityoaks.org forward slash veteran dash programs. Hey, thank you for watching and join us next week on a new episode of Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a CareCo TV production. From sun up to sun down, day in and day out, we work hard. We play hard. And to keep us going during those long hours, we demand performance. Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler. Want to know why the top shooting pros choose HiViz? HiViz has an enormous lineup of sights for every shooting platform possible that are clean looking and easy to mount. Improve your shooting with faster target acquisition and eliminate cross-eyed dominance. HiViz sights are the brightest out there, helping you find your target with ease no matter the shooting conditions. Choose the best, choose HiViz, and see what you've been missing. God made a deer farmer, a person who stays up at night to save a sick fawn's life, gets up and still goes to work at sunrise. This person works in the heat, the cold, and the rain. He needs to feed his animals, make sure they have water. If the water's frozen, he must break it so they can drink. He needed somebody to collect real scents and smells from deer, to provide hunting scents to the hunters so they could feed their families. So God made a deer farmer.